ओम अज्ञान तिमिरन दस्या ज्ञान जना शला कया चक्षुरुन मिलितम येन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टम स्थापितम ये नमपुतले स्वयं रूपा कदा माहीम ददाति स्वापदांतिकम वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री उतापद कमलम श्री गुरुन वैष्णवमश श्री रूपम सागर जातम सहगण रघुनाथान वितम तम सजीवम साधवैतम सावधूतम परिजन सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहागण ललिता श्री विशाखान वितम शा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय <coughs> वंशा कल्पतरु वैश्य कृपा सिंधु एवं पतिता पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखुम करोति वाचाल पंगु लंगायते गिरी यत्कृपा तम अहम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर ओके वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द सेवेंथ चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर डिस्क्राइब्स लॉर्ड चैतन्य इन फाइव फीचर्स 
which is the panchatattva um um but the main topic of this discussion is something um something different that we will see as we come there um pranam mantra jay jay shri chaitanya jay nityananda jay advaita chandra jaya gaura bhakta vinda all glories to lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and lord shri nityananda all glories to advaita charya and all the and all glories to devotees of lord goranga <coughs> this is we know vanch one pranam mantra which is jay shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadha shiva sadi gaur bhakta vrinda this is another pranam mantra for the panch tattva panch tattvatmakam krishna bhakta rupa swarupakam bhakta avtaram bhakta akyam namami bhakta shakti ka um um bhakta rupa is lord chaitanya swarupa is uh, um uh, who is the lord but as a as a it the swarup of the lord in a form of a devotee that is nityananda prabhu he is swayam bhagwan also so he is original swarup of the lord but in a form of devotee bhakta avataram who the incarnation <coughs> as a devotee which is um vishnu's incarnation which is advaita charya bhaktakyam bhaktakyam is akya is called bhaktakya means who is a bhakta only who is who is a devotee actually and that is shiva stakur and uh, bhakta shakti kam is who is shakti of the lord who came in a form of bhakta and that is gadadhar pandit so in this panchatattva there are three isha tattva which is supreme personality of godhead which is lord chaitanya advaita charya nityananda prabhu they are all isha tattva or uh, uh, prabhupad uses some way a shakti man tattva or they are also referred to as vishnu tattvas so these are the supreme personality of godhead then one is jiva tattva which is narad muni shivas thakur and one is shakti tattva which is um, radha rani is incarnation which is gadadhar pandit so these are the uh, panch tattvas now um last week we saw how um ekala krishna ishwar um rsa bhratra there is only one enjoyer um one bhogta which is krishna and rest all serve krishna in a mood of servant <coughs> so krishna's kaviraj goswami repeats that here swayam bhagwan krishna is ekale ishwar the only controller the only supreme only bhogta advitiya dviti is second aditya means who who is without a second everybody else serve krishna in the mood of a servant nandat maja son of nanda maharaj rashik rasika shekhara the supreme enjoyer of all mellows um even lord ram lord vishnu does not enjoy all the mellows that uh, krishna enjoys which is a uh, complete rasa murti all the five only he enjoys so he is a rasika shekhara the supreme enjoyer uh, rasadi vilasi supreme enjoyer of rasa dance <coughs> ras rasadi vilasi brajalanana um, nagara the leader of damsels of braja um arayata sabha dekha tanda parikara rest all others are simply his associates so that is that same supreme personality of godhead shri krishna and that self same lord krishna who is the original bhogta rest all are his servants that krishna advented himself as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu with all his eternal associates who are also equally glorious shri chaitanya mahaprabhu who is a supreme controller the one personality of godhead has ecstatically become a devotee yet his body is transcendental and not materially tinged so the body of lord chaitanya is not material it's transcendental lord associates were nitya siddha devotees all the associates of the lord with everybody whom lord chaitanya mahaprabhu performed pastimes 
are his eternal associates. There is in Golok Vrindavan, there is a section of Goloka and there is a section of Navadvip. In Navadvip, all the devotees in Krishna Leela also have their presence in Gaur Leela. Just like when Krishna comes with all his associates, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes with his eternal associates. Um, Gaur Gunodesha Deepika is a book written by son of Shivananda Sen. Um, and he describes the eternal identity of uh, all the associates of Lord Chaitanya in that book. <coughs> the, the internal devotees are all eternal associates in the past names of the Lord. Only with them does the Lord advent to, prop to propound the Sankirtan movement. During the time of Lord Chaitanya, there was no conditioned soul who was the associate of the Lord. Of course, Mahaprabhu delivered conditioned souls, but all the associate of the Lord, none of them was conditioned and then perfected. Um, these are all eternal associates of the Lord with whom Mahaprabhu descends. Only with them does the Lord propound the Sankirtan movement. Only with them does the Lord taste the mellow of conjugal love. And only with them does he distribute this love of God to people in general. So only with them does he perform all the pastimes. Um, now this is the <coughs> this is the second theme, which is Panchatattva broke open the seal. Um, 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 many devotees have many many lectures on uh, this these eight verses. Uh, Panchatattva broke open the seal. Although that storehouse of love, love of Krishna certainly came with Krishna when he was present, it was sealed. So, uh, um, so there is a godown, a godown uh, or a storage place. And in that storage place, it is filled with the love of God. Um, but it is sealed. So nobody can access it. So when um, Krishna came with all his associates, that storehouse came with him, but it remained sealed. But when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came with his associates of the Panchatattva, they broke the seal and plundered the storehouse to taste the transcendental love of Krishna. So what they did, they went to that storehouse and they broke open and they stole they stole <coughs> the the love of Godhead. Um, they plundered. Plundered means they stole the storehouse to taste. They stole to taste. The more they tasted, the more their thirst for it grew. The more they tasted love of Godhead, they became more and more uh, um, um, thirsty to taste more and more love. That is the nature of Prema. Um, so we saw how uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, whole night in Shiva's Angan, they would taste that love of God. And with all his associates, they would, the more they taste, the more they want to taste. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Mahavadanyaya, Prabhupada says in the purport, because although he is Sri Krishna himself, he is even more favorably disposed to poor fallen souls than Lord Krishna. Because Lord Krishna, when he came, um, the storehouse of love of God, it came, but he didn't give to anyone. Um, but when Mahaprabhu came, he broke it open and they themselves tasted it and they gave it to everyone. And that's why Chi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Mahavadanyaya by Rupa Goswami, uh, most merciful. Sri Panchatattva themselves danced again and again and thus made it easier to drink the nectarian love of Godhead. They danced, cried, laughed and chanted like madmen. And in this way, they distributed love of God. So how they distributed this love of God? They went on the street, they danced, they chanted, they laughed, they cried. And anybody who heard it received that love of God from them. So just by performing Sankirtan, they gave love of God to everyone. It is, we know when Mahaprabhu went to South India tour, whoever Mahaprabhu um, hugged, 
by seeing somebody on the street mahaprabhu was giving this um, um, mellow of pure devotional service kripa siddhas people generally cannot understand the actual meaning of chanting and dancing describing the goswamis shri shrinivas acharya stated krishna kirtana gana nartana paro not only did lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and his associate demonstrate this chanting and dancing but the six goswamis also follow the next generation so what we do in the temple chanting and dancing is coming from parampara even um, mahaprabhu and panchatatva used to do it every night is chanting and dancing and uh, Uh, the six goswamis rup sanatan raguna das agunan bhat they are also mentioned as gana nartana Na, uh, nartana is uh, dancing gana is singing krishna kirtan so they would sing chant and dance in krishna kirtan so that was their daily activities and prabhupad sa- said says it is it is to be understood however <coughs> that the chanting and dancing do not belong to this material world they are actually transcendental activities for the more one engages in chanting and dancing the more he can taste the nectar of transcendental love of god so when devotees come to temple they chant and dance it is not a material activity people in this world are also um chanting and you know singing and dancing i don't want to use the word chanting singing and dancing but when devotees in the temple chant and dance then these are not material activities they seems to be material but they are activities of spiritual world they are transcendental activities and the more one chant and dance um the more one taste the mellows of love of godhead love of godhead so these are transcendental activities that all our panchatatva and goswamis and in the line they have been doing shri prabhupad used to when he in rath yatra in many occasions he would raise his hand and he would chant and dance it is said one of the quality of of a sanyasi is you should chant and dance so all sanyasis we see they chant and dance this is possible only in the movement of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu nobody else do that pat <coughs> पात्र 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 विचार नहीं नहीं स्थान स्थान ये याग्या पाए ताहा करे प्रेमा था पात्र अपात्र पात्र इज हु इज क्वालिफाइड अपात्र इज हु इज नॉट क्वालिफाइड विचार नहीं नहीं स्थान अस्थान इज इट अ प्रॉपर प्लेस स्थान अस्थान और इज इट नॉट अ प्रॉपर प्लेस नो कंसीडरेशन ए यहां पाए ताहा करे प्रेमा था दे जस्ट find wherever they find anybody um yaha taha they gave them love of god in distributing love of god chitane mahaprabhu and his associate did not consider who was a fit candidate and who was not um i mean many of us sitting in the room were probably not the fit candidates if we see our past so patra patra vichara nahi but we still receive the mercy um nahi sana sthan and we may be in many many abominable places still um uh, we receive the mercy so that is the mahavada nyaya of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu um did not consider who was a fit candidate who was not nor nor where such distribution should or should not take place they made no conditions wherever they got the opportunity the members of panchatatva distributed the love of god right so this is the same theme of they came with the store house of love of godhead they broke open the seal they tasted they chanted and danced they distributed and they did not see who is fit who is unfit uh, which place should should love of god be given which place should not be given whoever they met they just kept on distributing love of god <coughs> um yet there was no scarcity um लुटिया खाइया दिया भंडारा उजाड़े आश्चर्य भंडारा प्रेमा सता गुना भरे लुटिया दे प्लंडर्ड खाइया दे एट दिया दे गेव भंडारा उजाड़े इन इन दे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इट्स कंटेंट दे प्लंडर्ड दे एट एंड दे गेव आश्चर्य भंडारा 
but what is so wonderful and so astonishing about this storehouse uh, prema sata sata guna bade uh, sata means hundreds of times hundred um, 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 guna so guna uh, hundred times bade it increased um, so although the members of panchatattva plundered the storehouse of love of god and ate and distributed its content there was no scarcity for this wonderful storehouse is so complete that as the love is distributed the supply increases hundreds of times so how many when mahaprabhu came to varanasi he said i have brought so many fruits of love of god and i don't want to take it back um i am willing to give to anyone and everyone whoever shows little slight inclination i'll give them prema dhan the love of god <coughs> so there was there is no scarcity the actual spiritual consciousness is so perfect that the more it is distributed the more it increases um in fact the proper one time told that if you don't distribute what you have you will become envious so we have the responsibility to distribute and the more we distribute the more um it increases in us in fact that is a secret when shri prabhupad came to the west i was telling the other day um he engaged all the devotees in only one activity that is distribute love of god uh, in the form of shri prabhupad books in the form of naam sankirtan prabhupad said one devotee stay in temple and perform deity worship everybody go out and distribute and because they were all engage in outreach activities they were so blissful uh, all those who are engage in reaching this krishna consciousness movement will find in their own heart their love of god it will increase so this is a secret if you want to go deeper in your krishna consciousness is uh, you give it to others don't hesitate don't be shy श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु से महाप्रभु से भारत भूमि के होई थे मनुष्य जन्म जान इफ इफ एनीवन हैज टेकन बर्थ इन भारत भूमि जन्म सात करी करो करो का देन यू गिव यू टेक इट यू टेस्ट इट इफ यू लाइक इट देन यू गिव इट टू अदर्स इन गिविंग वी रिसीव बैंक्रप्सी इज अ टर्म दैट अप्लाइज इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड Uh, but the storehouse of love of god it is spiritual word can never be depleted there is no bankruptcy the more you give and you look back in your heart and you see it has increased and you give more love of god and you look into your in your heart oh it has further increased so that's the secret of making progress uh, because this is the uh, desire of lord chaitanya shila prabhupad uh our spiritual master this is why lord chaitanya mahaprabhu descended and as we try to fulfill their desire our love will increase um propa said preacher has to be tolerant uh, <coughs> and uh, sometime people will take sometime they will not take sometime they will be very grateful and sometime they will you will hear some critical remarks uh, they will maintain distance from you so many many emotions you will go through when you try to give love of god to people in general um, um to everybody uh, and tolerate tolerate but don't stop giving keep trying people who go out for book distribution they have to be tolerant because um they are humbled some people take some people don't take but then when you come back next day and you chant you feel the presence of krishna you go out for sangeet and you give them the holy name um there is uh, effort going time and energy going um but when you sit to chant the holy name tomorrow you feel the difference so this is the key of course this time is little bit not so conducive to go out um but remember the secret if we want to grow your bhakti in krishna consciousness we should offer our life as a sacrifice um to give krishna to others in whichever ashram we are whatever we have a comfort zone we should try to stretch ourselves and do something um then you will see 
your Krishna consciousness will expand. And by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everything will fall in place. The flood of prema swelled in all direction. And when Panchatattva came, uh, that's the life of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, it's a life of sacrifice. It's a life of preparation. It's a life of deep desire to fulfill that mission of spiritual master. The flood of prema swelled in all direction. And thus, young man, old man, woman, children, gentlemen, rogues, lame, invalid and blind were all immersed in the inundation. Patra, patra na dekhi. Uh, whether one is old, young, man, woman, children, gentle, rogue, lame. Um, so no discrimination. Oh, he is a young man. Let me give him. He's an old man. No. He looks good. He doesn't look good. No. Um, he is a small child. No. Dear Krishna to everyone. Whoever you see, wherever you see a spark, fan it. Fan it. And give them some instructions about Krishna consciousness. Whether they follow, they don't follow, that's all right. You do your part. <coughs> whether one is blind, invalid, um, healthy, deceased, whatever be the condition, give them love of God. And Prabhupada gives this, this example. In Sridha Mayapur, there is sometimes a great flood after the rainy season. Every year the flood comes in Mayapur. <coughs> this is an inundation um, that from the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, the inundation of God, love of Godhead should be spread all over the world. When a flood comes in Mayapur, actually Shri Prabhupada's sister um, um, left the body, uh, drowned in that flood, uh, Pishima. Um, so flood comes every year and Jananivas Prabhu, Panka Jangari Prabhu, they go on boats and uh, underwater, whole body submerged and they do Aarti to Lord Nashimadev. And every year this happens. Um, and Janani Vasprabhu says the flood comes and uh, touches the feet of uh, Radha Madhav. Radha Madhav are at a great height. Um, they touches up to the feet of Radha Madhav and then Ganga goes away. Um, but every year she comes. Um, I don't know if it's still coming every year, but it usually comes. Um, um, when the five members of Panchatattva saw the entire world drowned in love of Godhead and the seed of medial enjoyment in the living entities completely destroyed, they all became exceedingly happy. So, um, when would the Panchatattva be happy, be pleased? Um, when they see that the whole world is drowned in love of Godhead. It gives a lot of pleasure to Panchatattva when they see one new person experiencing Krishna in their life and one more new person and one more new person is experiencing and becoming happy um, by receiving Krishna in their life um, and uh, their seed of material enjoyment is destroyed because it is this material enjoyment this tendency and this desire for material enjoyment that is a cause of so much sufferings um, and when they see that this seed is being destroyed and they are happy tasting Krishna. <coughs> they become exceedingly happy. The seed of medial enjoyment, very nice. This is by Bhakti Siddhanta Saswati Thakur. Prabhupada quotes. Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur also has a commentary on Chaitanya Charitamrita, Anubhasya. And Prabhupada quotes commentary from various acharyas and adds his own commentary and gave Bhakti Vedanta purports. The seed of material enjoyment watered by the course of material nature fructifies to become a tree of material entanglement. So those who desire material enjoyment, um, um, when the seed is there for material enjoyment, then they become entangled. It, it's only an illusion that they think that uh, um, now I am very happy. I have a very good job. I have a lot of freedom. Uh, I can go anywhere. I can do anything. I have a lot of wealth. Uh, now I'm a free bird and I can enjoy. Um, uh, but just that's just a temporary phase. Um, um, the mat nature of material world is bhog and tyag. Very soon material nature changes its turns and the person is frustrated. Nobody in this world Trying to enjoy can actually be happy. It just seems they can enjoy. But 
um, they don't realize they are becoming entangled. Um, that's the power of illusory energy of the Lord. Um, it seems um, that I am freeing myself, but we are further getting entangled in, um, in material life, in 8.4 million yonis. This material world is not a happy place. Uh, um, everybody comes to realize today or tomorrow. <coughs> but still the seed is there. The seed is there. So that seed will go away only when we experience Krishna Prima, love of God. And then it is transferred. Um, um, and when Panchatattva sees that this seed is burnt out, they become exceedingly happy because then the living entity is free from suffering, Dukhalyam Ashashvatam, and can enjoy intimately with loving relationship with um, 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 with uh, Krishna, intimately unite with Krishna. To enjoy such material, <coughs> material facility is to be afflicted by three material miseries. Um, however, when by nature's law there is flood, the seeds within the earth becomes inactive. So when the flood comes um, by the law of material nature, the seed sowed in the earth um, um, dies out, becomes inactive. Likewise, when our heart is flooded with Krishna Prima, then the seed of material enjoyment will go away. The impersonalist, fruity workers, false logicians, blasphemers, non-devotees, and lowest among the student community are very expert in avoiding the Krishna consciousness movement. And therefore, the inundation of Krishna consciousness cannot touch them. So, Mahaprabhu and the Panchatattva, they flooded. They flooded. Uh, anybody and everybody can come and uh, take love of Godhead. But some people, they avoided Panchatattva. Who are they? Um, those who were Mayavadis, impersonalists, um, the fruity workers, too much attached to karma and uh, material gains, um, too many material desires, false logicians, the jnanis, um, blasphemers who would blaspheme the devotees, non-devotees, the atheistic people, and lowest among the student community, Prabhupada called it student community. <laughs> are very expert in avoiding Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, the inundation of Krishna consciousness cannot touch them. Panchatattva again came to give to everyone. Um, but these people expertly avoided receiving the mercy of the Lord. And the Lord was so merciful, seeing that the Mayavadis and others were fleeing, were not interested. Lord Chaitanya thought, I wanted everyone to be immersed in this inundation of love of Godhead. But some of them have escaped. Therefore, I shall devise a trick to drown them also. Thus the Lord accepted the sannyas order of life after full consideration. Actually, people even, for, even found fault with Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya thought, well, everybody in India respect the sannyas order. Um, so if I take sannyas, they will come and they will bow down to me. And just by bowing down, I will give them love of Godhead. So Mahaprabhu uh, devised ways and means by how to flood uh, everybody in complete Krishna consciousness. Sri so Prabhupada says that we should also devise ways, use our intelligence and consider how to give these atheists, these students, these uh, <coughs> jnanis and these karmis and all these people how can we give them Krishna so we should use our intelligence and somehow or other our life should be to devise Prabhupada says innovative ways how to spread Krishna consciousness movement we should not be satisfied just by I am a devotee I am busy I have my services and uh, um, my time is going Krishna service. That's very good. That's a sign of great advancement. But then 
go further go further uh, beyond comfort zone beyond uh, uh, ourselves uh, pralad maharaj asked nashingadev my lord i don't want anything i am very happy when i chant i am blissful i am blissful experiencing your name but i am miserable because there are people who are suffering and not understanding the cause of their suffering are still trying to enjoy i want to stay as long as i can give love of god to those people so that mood uh, we are uh, um, um, our movement is a preaching movement Uh, we should not be satisfied just with our krishna consciousness uh, propa says that's that's also transcendental but there is some form of selfishness involved where i am concerned about my growth but we should take step sacrifice uh, whatever we can to give it to others thus those who evaded him ma prabhu not took sanyas so those who evaded him came to surrender on to his lotus feet the lord excused them all and they merge into prema mahajal 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 this great net of krishna prema anybody who came and bowed down because sanyasi everybody bowed down whoever bowed bowed down to mahaprabhu mahaprabhu gave him he tricked them mahaprabhu gave them prema so that is that much mahavadani aya is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in order to deliver all the fallen souls. Therefore, he devised many methods to liberate them from the clutches of Maya. He devised so many ways. He would think every day, "How can I give this person Krishna Prema? How can I give him? How can I give him?" Um, therefore, it is a principle that a preacher must strictly follow the rules and regulations laid down in Shastra. Yet at the same time, devise a mean by which preaching work. Uh, by which the preaching work to reclaim the fallen may go on with full force we should be very strict with our sadhana with our chanting of holy name with our four regulated principles we should be very strict with ourselves but then we should consider okay now um, what can i do uh, what can i try um, it's okay to fail um, but keep trying keep trying uh, you will know one more thing that doesn't work keep trying more keep trying more don't sit back and don't lose hopes kuch kuch karte raho to give krishna consciousness to everyone uh, uh, and we should not restrict ourselves to indian community also um, there is lot of work that needs to be done uh, um, it requires planning it requires a desire it requires effort um for for steps to be taken in that direction and that's why because the proper took that much sacrifice and proper one time he was trying so hard to spread krishna consciousness here one time proper said i was depressed nobody was taking but krishna reciprocated with him uh, proper could have been very happy sitting in vrindavan um every day going to so many temples during mangala arati and uh very blissfully engage in krishna consciousness um on a on a nitya siddha platform um but he he didn't have to go through uh, giving them and taking all the dejection and becoming depressed and going through jalduta he didn't have to go through it he was going back to godhead uh, but he did it he did it and um we are we are getting benefited from that so many thousands of people are getting benefited sri prabhupad said one old man um um is sincerely trying and so much is happening why don't you come and help me in spreading this krishna consciousness movement um all were converted into devotees of lord chaitanya even the malechas and yavanas only the impersonalist followers of shankaracharya evaded him even malechas yavanas are the muslims the pathans like chankazi they were also becoming devotees all these karmis gyanis um and offenders blasphemers um 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 atheists they all were uh, mahaprabhu was able to give them love of god but the impersonalist mahaprabhu was unable to give them love of god 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu converted many karma nishthas who were addicted to fruitive activities, many logicians like Sarabhava Bhattacharya, many blasphemers like Prakash and the Saraswati, um, um, <coughs> many non-devotees like Jagai and Malhai, many um, degraded students like Mukunda and his friends, and even the Pathans became devotees. So all those who were trying to avoid Mahaprabhu, avoid love of God and Mahaprabhu tricked them after taking sannyas in so many ways, um, so many things he did and he gave everyone love of Godhead. But the Mayavadis, the impersonalists, followers of Shankaracharya, Mahaprabhu was not able to help them. Um, the Mayavadi Sanyasi blasphemed Lord Chaitanya. Now, this is the last part of today's discussion. But this is, uh, this will take some time. This is little, um, yeah. Um, this is a particular instance how Mahaprabhu gave love of Godhead to Mayavadis. Um, and this is a particular instance where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Banaras, Varanasi, um, <coughs> on his way to Vrindavan. After South India, Mahaprabhu um, made a move to Vrindavan through Jari Khanda forest, giving love of God to everyone. Then he came to Varanasi, where uh, there was the house of Chandrasekhar. Acharya and uh, Tapan Mishra. And uh, these were the only two devotee families in Varanasi. And Mahaprabhu stayed in their home and took prasadam there. Um, and that's the history of what we are going to speak about. So when Lord Chaitanya was passing through Varanasi on his way to Vrindavan, the Mayavadi Sanyasi's philosophers blasphemed against him. So these Mayavadi philosophers, they were very proud people. And uh, when they see Lord Chaitanya, they would blaspheme him. And this is the reason why they blasphemed him. <coughs> he has no interest in the study of Vedanta. Um, usually those days, all Mayavadi sannyasis, they would study, sit down, and they would study Vedanta Sutras. And they would specifically study the commentary by Shankaracharya. It's called Sariraka Vasya. So um, he has no interest in studying, although he is a sannyasi. Instead, he always engages in chanting and dancing in Sankirtan. No sannyasi at that time would engage in chanting and dancing. Everybody, sannyasi means sit down in one place and uh, all sannyasis come together and study Vedanta Sutra and speculate. That's all. No chanting and dancing and do meditate. Uh, he is an illiterate sannyasi and therefore does not know his real function. So, in front of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they would, uh, they, Mahaprabhu would hear that. They would say to everybody, yeah, this Chaitanya, um, he is an illiterate. Uh, how painful it is. He is an illiterate. Guided only by sentiments. He is a bhavuka. bhavuka. Um, uh, he wanders about in the company of other sentimentalists. He is a sentimentalist. He just, who, he just does all these things. He just chant and dance on the street. And he's a sannyasi and he's an illiterate and he doesn't even want to um, study Vedanta Sutras. He doesn't want to meditate. Um, 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 and he doesn't mix with all of us. Although he's also, now this is very interesting. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also took sannyas from a mat of Shankaracharya, from Bharati mat. Um, um, uh, Kesha Bharati was a sannyas guru. Kesha Bharati, who was also a follower of um, Shankaracharya. But first, before Kesha Bharati gave sannyas to Lord Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya initiated him in Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And immediately, by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, um, Kesha Bharati became a Vaishnava. And then Kesha Bharati gave him a Vaishnava sannyas. Um, so, um, this Prakasharanda Saraswati and all these thousands of sannyasis and Mahaprabhu, they are like Sajati. Sajati means belonging to the same caste. Why? They are all followers of Shankaracharya. Everybody is doing what Shankaracharya wants, but he alone, he chants and dances, which nobody does. And he associates with sentimentalists and he himself is a Bhavuka. Um, he himself is a sentimentalist. So this criticism were against Lord Chaitanya when Mahaprabhu was going through um, um, 
through Varanasi to Vrindavan. Hearing all this blasphemy, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu merely smiled to himself. So, um, <coughs> rejecting all these accusations and did not talk with Mayavadis. So, Prabhupada says somewhere, I have put it down, that if somebody blasphemes us, we should be tolerant. But if somebody blasphemes our devotees of the Lord, then we should take action. So, when Mahaprabhu heard that uh, people are telling that you are bhavuka, you are illiterate, um, um, engage in service of other uh, sentimentally, simply chanting and dancing, you, although a sannyasi, don't read Vedanta Sutra, Mahaprabhu simply smiled and Mahaprabhu ignored, um, merely smiled to himself, rejected all these accusations and did not talk with Mayavadis and still Mahaprabhu would not associate um, uh, he would not associate with them. Thus, neglecting the blasphemy of the, Va the Varanasi Mayavadis, Varanasi was the hub of Mayavadi sannyasis. Still to date, there are many, many Mayavadis who live in, um, who live in uh, uh, Varanasi. Uh, many of them call themselves devotee of Lord Shiva. But uh, they are all Mayavadis, impersonalists. Um, thus, neglecting the blaspheme, our, uh, anyways, no names. Thus, neglecting the blaspheme of Varanasi Mayavadis, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded to Mathura. Mahaprabhu simply smiled and he went to Mathura. After visiting Mathura Vrindavan, he returned uh, to meet the situation. Then again, now Mahaprabhu is coming back on the way from Vrindavan um, back to Puri. So he again stayed with. Uh, uh, Chandrasekhar. This time Lord Chaitanya stayed at the house of Chandrasekhar. Although he was regarded as a Shudra or Kayast for, for the Lord as a Supreme Personality of Godhead is completely independent. Mahaprabhu did not consider any caste as long as they chant the holy name and they are devotees of Krishna. Uh, as a matter of principle, Lord Chaitanya regularly accepted his food at the house of Tapan Mishra. Mahaprabhu would go to the house of Tapan Mishra. Um, he never mixed with other sannyasis, nor did he accept invitations from them. Sometimes he would receive invitation, he would not accept. And Varnasi's hub of Mayava sannyasis, he would not mix with them. He would just stay with these two devotees, and just with them, he would perform Nam Sankirtan. Sanatan Goswami also met Chi Chitane Mahaprabhu. This is after his release from the jail, you all know. Uh, he was coming with Ishan on the left. He was tricked by a hotel owner. Then he left both of them, left all the gold, gold coin. Um, and uh, uh, he got this kambal um, uh, from his uh, cousin brother. And uh, all the way after long separation, Sanatan Goswami met Lord Chaitanya in Varanasi. When Sanatan Goswami came from Bengal, he met Lord Chaitanya at the house of Tapan Mishra. You know this story. Where Lord Chaitanya remained continuously for two months to teach him devotional service. So Mahaprabhu spoke. Mayavadi sannyasis were there. Were they, uh, they were still criticizing. Uh, Lord Chaitanya simply did not consider anything of them. And um, he was just trying to please his devotees. So he gave the signs of transcendental knowledge to Sanatana Goswami. Here there is in the picture Tapan Mishra, Lord Chaitanya and Sanatana Goswami. Then, after two months, they were very pleased to hear uh, the philosophy of devotional service. Then Chandrasekhar and Tapan Mishra appealed to Lord Chaitanya. Now, uh, what was the appeal? How long can we tolerate the Mayavadi sannyasis blaspheming against you? We would rather give up our life than hear it. This blasphemy break our hearts. So they are like, please do something. I mean, you will go, we will live here. And we keep on, everybody knows we are followers of um, Mahaprabhu. Um, and people keep on blaspheming us every time we hear um, our heart pains. Um, so this is where Prabhupada said, a Vaishnava should be humble and tolerate if insulted. If we are insulted, we should bring the poison. Bring the poison. Be humble and tolerate. But if once Guru or another Vaishnava is blasphemed, one should either defeat by arguments, leave the place, or give up one's life. This we have already discussed. Um, um, best is, if you are in a position to defeat, you argue. But if you cannot, then at least don't hear. 
leave the place in a very respectful manner. The third one is anyways difficult to practice. Now, uh, after hearing the appeal from Tapan Mishra and Chandrasekhar, um, Mahaprabhu decided, I will show my mercy to these Mayavadi sannyasis. So hearing his devotee's request, the Lord smiled slightly and remained silent. At that time, a Brahmana came and requested the Lord. I have invited all the sannyasis of Banaras to my home. My desires will be fulfilled if you also accept my invitation. I know that you never mix with other sannyasis, but please be merciful unto me. So when Mahaprabhu heard Tapan Misha and Chandrasekhar, he only slightly smiled and didn't say anything. Uh, my lord please how much can we hear the blasphemy it's breaking our heart please do something and Mahaprabhu simply smiled and didn't say anything but Mahaprabhu inspired a Brahmana that Brahmana knew that Lord Chaitanya is already here for over two months he gave uh, teachings to Sanatan Goswami Mahaprabhu is famous and everybody knows um, that Mahaprabhu never mixed with Mayavad Sannyasis he never accepts anyone's invitation but Mahaprabhu inspired that brahmana that you ask again he inspired and the brahmana came and he himself said i know you never accept but i'll be greatly pleased if you can accept prashadam in my home uh, i have invited all the mayavadi sannyasis this was the arrangement of lord chaitanya to the plea of devotees anybody who received the mercy of devotees received the mercy of the lord um, Um, the next day, the Lord went to the Brahmana's house, saw the sannyasis of Banara sitting there, offered obeisances. As soon as Mahaprabhu saw all the sannyasis, he offered obeisances. And then washing his feet, he sat down in that same place. He exhibited his mystic power by manifesting <coughs> an effulgence as brilliant as millions of suns. So Mahaprabhu sat down. All these Mayava sannyasis, they meditate on Brahman. So Mahaprabhu sat down and he emanated his Brahman feature. He just sat down um, in a very humble position, paid respect to all the Vaish all the sannyasis. Um, the place is dirty because it carries the foot wash of all the people. Um, um, and uh, he just sat down. It was a wet floor. Um, and then um, everybody kind of neglected. Um, but when they saw this Brahman effulgence coming, they were very amazed. All the sannyasis, Mayavad sannyasis. Attached, attracted by this illumination of millions of suns coming from the body of Lord Chaitanya, all the sannyasis stood in respect. Their leader Prakash and the Saraswati respectfully addressed the Lord. Please come here, your holiness. So see so much respect they are giving because they were attracted by the Lord's effulgence. Why do you sit in this unclean place? What has caused your lamentation? Um, how can we serve you? And it is described that because Prakashanda Saraswati showed some affection, it was a Agyat Sukriti, unknown devotional service rendered by Prakashanda Saraswati. First, the devotee's desire. And second, he himself rendered some service. Everybody stood up in respect that itself is a Agyat Sukriti. When somebody respects a devotee, they make progress. And this is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this gave them the qualification to receive Krishna Prema. The Lord replied humbly, I belong to a lower order of sannyasis. Now, <coughs> in Shankaracharya, there are many four divisions actually. Uh, um, and their last name um, uh, signifies what sect of Sankracharya Sanyasi they belong to. So Keshav Bharati belong to Bharati sect. Bharati sect. Prakash and the Saraswati belong to Saraswati sect. Saraswati sect of Sanyasis is considered higher than Bharati uh, set of devotees. Sarvabhavam Bhattacharya belongs to Bhatta, Bhattacharya sect. That was also higher. So Mah Mahaprabhu said in a humble way, I belong to a lower order of sannyasi. We are sajati. We are all followers of Shankaracharya, basically. But I belong to a lower order. Why? Bharati. So I do not deserve to sit with you. Prakash and the Saraswati, however, personally caught his hand and seated him with great 
respect amidst the assembly so um um now saraswat prakash saraswati will personally ask he used to blast me all these are the sanyasis who would speak behind mahaprabhu actually one of the form of prajalpa is speaking about a devotee on his back uh, um um blaspheming him with the envious intention um um uh, um in his absence that is one of the form of prajalpa so they all used to do that they all would criticize each other in mahaprabhu but now prakash and the saraswati first time he is encountering personally lord chaitanya all the lord chaitanya is famous all over the all over india prakash and the saraswati inquired uh, from the lord so this picture you see where all the sanyasis are sitting prakash and the saraswati is the leader among them and they made uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu sit in the middle and as you see their tilak is different this is mayavad tilak um this three lines like this that's what they that's how they do <coughs> prakash and the saraswati asked i understand that your name is shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu did not take the name bharati uh mahaprabhu told prakash and the saras uh, told keshav bharati that you give me the sanyas name shri krishna chaitanya otherwise everybody gets the name of saraswati or bharati or bhattacharya or like that but mahaprabhu didn't take so his name was shri krishna chaitanya so that was a unique case uh, prakash and the saraswati asked um, i understand that your name is shri krishna chaitanya you are a disciple of keshav bharati um you belong to our shankara sampradaya aap sajati hain hamare um, and live in in our village and you are past few months you are here in our village varanasi but why do you not associate with us we are your sanyas friends um you even avoid seeing us you don't even see us why being a sanyasi why do you chant and dance in sankirtan with fanatics sare pagal logon ke sath aap kyun sadak pe ja ke hari krishna hari ram karte ho uh, why are you doing all these fanatic things you are a sanyasi you are a high class man why are you on the street with all these fanatic people why do you abandon meditation and study of vedanta which are the sole duties of sanyasi why do you do that so these are the questions now there will be a conversation between so many sanyasis and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu <coughs> but the demeanor of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was so pleasing to all the sanyasis because of the genuine humility of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu now lord chaitanya explains the reason for his sankirtan so this is the first answer um, and then the second answer is um, um, uh, why don't you study vedanta sutra and the first question is why do you chant and dance in association of these fanatics shri chaitanya mahaprabhu replied to prakash and the saraswati my guru ordered me to chant that's the beginning why do you chant and dance my guru ordered me so my guru ordered me to chant he considered me a fool and said you are not qualified to study vedanta sutra you must always chant the holy name of krishna the essence of all mantras now we should know shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was the greatest scholar that's why his name was nimai pandit even keshav kashmiri who was the best among all the scholar was defeated by lord chaitanya but when mahaprabhu met uh, uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was a expert in everything anything he heard once he knows he knows all the imports of all the vedic scriptures and he will reveal the actual import of vedanta sutra today to uh, all the sanyasi so mahaprabhu was such an expert but keshav bharati but um, <coughs> ishwar puri <coughs> his spiritual master he told mahaprabhu you are a fool because mahaprabhu wanted his guru to say like that because he wanted to establish because everybody was the um uh, the most uh, um the best people at that time are those who have the scholarly ability and that was the role of sanyasis like prakash and the saraswati sarvam bhattacharya they would do keshav kashmiri the highly respect the more you are scholarly and uh, study vedantas and all these things gyanis the more you are respected and still ma and still ma 
Ishwar Puri told Mahaprabhu, you are a fool. By all these things, you're not going to get Krishna. You're going to get Krishna by uh, devotional service, by rendering Bhakti Yoga. So uh, Ma Ishwar Puri told, you're not qualified to study Vedanta philosophy. Um, just to emphasize, um, you must always chant the holy name of Krishna, which is the essence of all the mantras. Um, and we know <coughs> Vedesha Sarve Ahame Vedo, Vedanta Krit Veda Videva Chaha. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita from Vedanta, I am the compiler of the Vedanta. From Vedanta, I am to be known. So if somebody, Prabhupada says, is there's a long purport to this, but the somebody is, if somebody knows Krishna and worshipping Krishna, then they know all the imports of Vedanta. Then you don't need to study Vedanta because the purpose of Vedanta is to know Krishna. So uh, Isha Puri told him, what is the use of studying everything? The essence is you render devotional service to Supreme Personality of Godhead. So you do that. So there is no need for uh, all these elaborate uh, literatures. Krishna Mantra <coughs> Krishna mantra haite habe samsara mochana. Krishna nama haite pabe Krishna racharana. Krishna mantra haite habe samsara mochana. If you chant the name of Krishna, you will samsara mochana. You will obtain freedom from material existence. Krishna nama haite pabe Krishna racharana. If you chant the Hare Krishna ma mantra, you will attain the lotus feet of Krishna. Simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna, one can obtain freedom from material existence and one will be able to see the lotus feet of the Lord. Nama vinu kali kale nahi ara dharma sarva mantra sara nama e shastra marma Nama vinu kali kale nahi ara dharma There is no other dharma in this age of kali other than nama. Krishna Nam. That is the only Dharma in this age of Kali. Sarva Mantra, all the Vedic Mantras, the Sar, the essence of all the Vedic Mantras is Nam. To chant the name of Krishna is the essence of all the Vedic Mantras. E Sastra Marma. Uh, all the scriptures glorify it. In this age of Kali, there is no religious principles or Dharma other than chanting of the holy name which is the essence of all Vedic hymns. This is the purport of all scriptures. So this is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describing to these Mayavad sannyasis why I chant and dance. Because these are the instructions I receive from my Guru. These are the words of my Guru. Saraswati Thakur says, by uh, uh, one should take the words of a bona fide spiritual master uh, without doubting as life and soul and then one, one's life will become perfect. Ete bali eka shloka shikhai la more kante kari e shloka kari ha vichare eta boli he said that uh, eka shloka shikhai la more uh, Ishwar Puri taught me one shloka uh, kante kari e shloka kari ha vichare and he said uh, wear this uh, like a kanti mala uh, uh, basic and very this like a country mala means always keep this mantra on your throat. Prabhupada describes always remember this mantra, a shloka kariha vichare, and keep meditating on this mantra. So, one mantra Ishwar Puri taught Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which was Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nashtiva, Nashtiva, Nashtiva Gati, Anyate. The name of Hari, name of Hari, name of Hari is the only name, only way. No other way, no other way, no other way in this age of Kali. Um, to chant, this is something something nice Prabhupada mentions in the purport. So, Hare Nam Kevalam. Uh, the only dharma, the essence of all scriptures is to chant holy name. Um, then why don't we chant 24 hours? Why we have so many other things, other spiritual activities? Why don't we just keep on chanting when that is a yoga dharma? That's what Mahaprabhu did whole day and whole night. Whole night he would chant and whole day he would chant. And all the Panchatattva, they would not have many, many engagements. They would just focus on holy name of Krishna. That is Sarva Shastra Sar, essence of all the scriptures. So, <coughs> uh, 
to chant the holy name of krishna one need not depend upon other paraphernalia which is other forms of devotional service for one can immediately get all the desired results of linking with the supreme personality of god just by chanting you will attain krishna prema chanting is the means chanting is the goal chanting is the essence chanting 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 um it may therefore be questioned why there is necessity for further spiritual activities like deity worship why do we need to do that when chanting is everything it's a yuga dharma it can alone give krishna prema what is the necessity um and propad writes propad answers his own question he raises a question and he answers generally a devotee is addicted to many abominable material habits due to material contamination from his previous lives our minds are contaminated because of our uh, attachments from our previous life in order to get a quick relief from all these contaminations it is required that one engage in the worship of the lord in the temple the worship of the deity in a temple is essential to reduce one's restlessness due to contaminations of condition so we are conditioned we have so many uh, contaminations impressions <coughs> from our past our past lives um, um so they become purified when we engage of in the service of the lord in the temple specifically in the worship of the deities um because with a contaminated mind even when we try to chant we are very distracted by the holy name um so um deity worship helps to purify us faster and uh, um continuing thus narada in his panchalatrika vidhi and other great sages have sometimes stressed that since every conditioned soul has a bodily concept of life they are very attached to uh, the body and uh, the pleasure that can be attained through the body um, aimed at sense enjoyment to restrict the sense enjoyment the rules and regulations for worshiping the deity in a temple are essential by worshiping the deity um, the mind becomes purified Uh, very quickly and uh, that helps to chant <coughs> there's something very interesting shri rupa goswami has described that the holy name of the lord can be chanted by liberated souls so chanting can actually be performed by liberated souls then the real effect of chanting will be visible like when rupa goswami chanted the holy name right in the very beginning when he was very young when he was with lord chaitanya mahaprabhu uh he composed this verse i don't know how much nectar the two syllable krishna have produced because liberated and we see the response of lord chaitanya became ecstatic the moment he chanted because supreme personality of god so chanting is meant for liberated soul they can immediately get the benefit of chanting but for others they should chant and they should do render devotion render deity worship um but almost all the souls now <coughs> the fact is uh, i am talking about myself that we have no taste in the chanting of the holy names uh, and uh, because we don't have uh, we engage in so many devotional service so that we can stay in a zone of krishna but the goal is actually continuous chanting satatam kirtan yantam that is the goal the more and more we want to chant um, uh, but if we do not have that much um um Uh, interest then do some other activities so shri prabhupad was very intelligent so prabhupad said now at in mangalarti okay very nice some vaishnav song some sarada vanna lila loka now you all do nursing the dev worship in this this is also very nice now you worship tulsi this is also very nice now you chant for 2 hours this little difficult but all right that's also okay now you do guru puja half an hour and uh, continue hari krishna this is also very nice now you study some bhagavatam that is also very nice four hour past so prabhupad made two hour chanting and uh, gave a whole package around that and now four hour you are engaged in devotional service but imagine if shri prabhupad has said get up at 4 am and 4 to 9 you chant the holy name don't know how many people could have actually sustained it so shri prabhupad gave a program now you go out and you distribute books you do different services you cook for the lord you attend bhagavad gita class in the evening you read krishna book before going to sleep and you do this and that and this and that and this and that so prabhupad very intelligently gave a program so there is a constantly change of activities so that we can stay within the zone of krishna but we stay krishna conscious but there are uh, 
people like uh, Krishna's Babaji Maharaj and others who could chant holy, that's great. That's great. So the goal is chanting. Uh, but other activities, especially deity worship, helps us to uh, pacify the restless mind, uh, which is very natural for a conditioned soul. Minds wavers a lot. So Rupa Goswami says that the holy name of the Lord can be chanted by liberated souls. But almost all the souls we have to initiate are conditioned. It is advised that one chant the holy name of the Lord without offenses and according to regulatory principles. Yet due to their past bad habits, they violate these rules and regulations. Thus the regulatory principles for worship of the deity are also simultaneously essential. And that's why Shri Prabhupada said that um, these two are the two paths of, uh, two tracks of railway line. One is Pancharatrika Vidhi and one is uh, <coughs> um, the Bhakti Mark, Bhagavat, Bhagavat Vidhi, Pancharatrika Vidhi and Bhagavat Vidhi, which is the process of hearing and chanting and the process of deity worship. Um, mm -hmm. ये यज्ञ पाना नाम लाई अनुक्षणा नाम लाईते लाईते मोरा भ्रांता हाइला मना सिंस आई रिसीव दिस ऑर्डर फ्रॉम माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर आई ऑलवेज चैन द होली नेम बट आई थॉट दैट बाय चैंटिंग एंड चैंटिंग द होली नेम आई हैड बिकम बिविल्डेड सो महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग दिस मायावत सन्यास इज माय गुरु टोल्ड मी यू आर अ फूल यू शुड चैंट दिस इज अ युग धर्म um this is what all the shastras and all the vedanta this is the essence so i'm chanting and dancing but what happened to me <coughs> um and then he now he is going to share his own experience while chanting the holy name of the lord in pure ecstasy i lose myself and thus i laugh cry dance and sing like a madman um i become mad um i suddenly get up i start dancing i laugh tears come from my eyes i don't know what is happening collecting my patience therefore i began to consider the chanting the holy name of krishna had covered my spiritual knowledge tabe dhairya dhari mane karilu vichar krishna nama gyana channa haila amar tabe dhairya dhari when i became so restless um, 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 chanting and dancing and crying um, i collected some patience dhairya dhari and karilu vichar then i started thinking um, krishna naam by chanting this holy name of krishna gyana channa my knowledge is covered haila amar um, so <coughs> shri chaitanya mahaprabhu hints in this verse that to chant the holy name of krishna one does not need to speculate on philosophical aspect of science of god um, for one automatically become ecstatic the goal of spiritual life is to become ecstatic um is to connect with krishna um ecstatic love of godhead to develop this um, bhava bhakti and prema bhakti and just the chanting of the holy name gives you that bhava bhakti and prema bhakti that time no knowledge is required and the knowledge becomes covered when we are um in this uh, um bhava bhakti and prema bhakti uh, rupa goswami describes anya bilashitam shunyam gyana karma navritam anukulena krishna nu shilena bhakti uttama Uh, pure bhakti is free from jnana and karma um, um, <coughs> rupa goswami describes in nectar of devotion jnana and karma are not the angas of bhakti they are needed only in the beginning but once you know then only yoga dharma perform the naam sankirtan pagala hai lo pagala hai la ami dhairya nahi mane i became mad dhairya nahi mane and i just mad eta chinti neve dilu guru ra charane um i saw that i became mad by chanting the holy name um and immediately submitted this at the lotus feet of my spiritual master so i don't know what was happening to me i was going through this transformation um and i submitted i approached my spiritual master prabhupa said thus in any condition even when liberated we should never think ourselves independent of spiritual master we should not think now i am so advanced uh, now i know everything 
um, I can figure out by myself. Why do I need to approach spiritual master? One should not think like that. Even when we are liberated, but to speak about a conditioned state. In any condition, we should never think ourselves independent of spiritual master, but must refer to him as soon as there is some uh, doubt regarding our progressive spiritual life. As we are progressing, uh, throughout our state of progress, we will get so many doubts. Now what to do? How do I deal? Why these emotions are happening? Is it right? It is not right. Because the spiritual master himself has gone through all the emotions and has gone through various stages of devotion. So when a sincere disciple uh, inquires, the spiritual master is very happy to assist <coughs> in one spiritual progress. So one should um, uh, approach spiritual master. Kiva mantra dila gosai. So he went to spiritual master and said, Kya mantra didi apne? Kiva mantra dila gosai. Kiva tara bala. Japite japite mantra. Karila pagala. As I am japita japita, as I am chanting, Karila pagala, I am becoming mad. What did you do to me? What kind of mantra have you given me? Uh, <coughs> what is the power of this mantra? Uh, it is the aspiration of a devotee. That while he chants the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, his eyes will fill with tears, his voice will falter, and his heart will throb. These are good signs in chanting the holy name of the Lord. So if you chant the holy name and if your eyes fill with tears, uh, my eyes never fill with tears. If your voice uh, falter and your heart throb, then you are in good shape. Then that means um, and these are good signs, Prabhupada says, in chanting the holy names of the Lord. <coughs> this stage actually they are they are called Ashta Satvika Vikar, eight symptoms of ecstasies. Um, um, here stand on end and many many things happens. Uh, perspiration comes. So these are good signs of chanting the holy name. But they appear only after Anartha um, in a in a bhava stage mainly they appear. Hasaya na chaya more karaya krandana etasoni guru hasi. Balila Vachana, chanting the holy name in, in ecstasy causes me to dance, laugh and cry. Hasai Nachai, um, um, Karai Krandana, uh, cry, Krandana. So I cry, I, I laugh and I dance. Eta Suni Guru Hasi, as soon as Ishwarpuri heard that, he laughed, he smiled. Balila Vachana and he began to speak. And Prabhupada says there, when a disciple very perfectly makes progress in spiritual life, this gladdens the spiritual master, who then also smiles in ecstasy thinking, how successful my disciple has become. So a bona fide spiritual master becomes very happy when he sees the progress of the disciple, when he sees that he is taking so much uh, pleasure in chanting the holy names. Um, 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 so actually, what pleases Guru is this theme will come once more time in today's discussion. What pleases Guru is when one when we become ecstatic in chanting Krishna's name. That is the purpose of Guru. Guru is trying to give us uh, Krishna play. Uh, uh, he is trying to take us to Krishna. And when he, he sees we are exhibiting the symptoms of uh, Krishna Prem, we are progressing towards Krishna Prem, it really pleases Guru. Um, uh, Krishna Nama Maha Mantarera Eita Sobhav Ye Jape Tare Krishna Upajaya Bhav Baba, this is a Sobhav of Krishna, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Krishna Nama Maha Mantra Eita Sobhav. Uh, anybody who chants, he laughs, cries, dance and pagala hoitu he becomes mad um and whoever chants he attains bhav what is bhav bhav is preliminary stage of love of god there is sadhana bhakti bhava bhakti and prema bhakti this Hare krishna maha mantra will give you bhav so he is telling to mayavad sannyasis that is the goal attain bhava bhakti and prema bhakti Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is giving me Bhava Bhakti and Prima Bhakti. Then why should I study <coughs> Vedanta Sutra? 
In fact, that's the goal. Goal is to come to Krishna. Goal of Vedanta is to realize Krishna's supreme personality of Godhead and render devotional service. So I'm directly rendering devotional service. So that's why I'm not associating with all of you. Um, um, Prabhupada said, in this verse, it is explained that one who chants the Hare Krishna mantra develops bhav, ecstasy, which is the point at which revelation begins. So when one attains the stage of bhava, then one starts getting an understanding of one siddha uh, uh, One starts getting revelation. So Prabhupada says, see, it's very interesting. Prabhupada says, which is the point at which revelation begins? It is a preliminary stage in developing one's original love of God. Uh, Krishna also says, and Prabhupada very interestingly quotes, Sarvasya Chaham, <coughs> Sarvasya Chaham Hridi Sindhi Vishto Matta Smite Gyanam Apohanam Cha. No. Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo Matta Sarvam Pravartate Iti Matva Bhajante Maam Bhura Bhava Samandita. And Prabhupada says, one who worships Krishna, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Bura Bhava Samanvita, he attained the stage of Bhava Bhakti. And Prabhupada says, links that Bhava word there to Bhava Bhakti. Um, uh, 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 so that's the process. By worshipping Krishna, one will cross over Anatha Nivrati and Nishtha Shakti Ruchi and then come to Bhava stage. And that is Eita Sobhav. That is the Sobhav of this Mahamantra of worshipping Krishna. One who is completely fit to chant the holy name in this way, he is eligible to make disciples all over the world. He actually becomes Jagat Guru. And Prabhupada said, who can become a spiritual master who has attained the stage of Bhava? He should become, he is eligible to accept disciples. Uh, because, uh, and Prabhupada further says, one who has attained this Bhava stage is no longer under the clutches of Maya, illusory energy. So he can accept spiritual master. Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, a person who is in a stage of Anartha Nivrati can give Shraddha to his followers. A person who is in a stage of Bhava can give ecstasy to his followers. And a person who is in a stage of Prema can give love of God to his followers. So we can give only what we have. If we are at Anartha Nivrati, we cannot give Bhava. If we can only give faith. If we are on Bhava, then we cannot give Prema, but we can give Bhava. So somebody on a platform of Bhava should become a spiritual master. Because once we accept such a spiritual master, he can give us Bhava. That's why we need a, a, a Uttama Adhikari. It is said that uh, uh, Uttama Adhikari, we should serve and accept as spiritual spiritual master. Madhyama Adhikari, we should receive instruction. Kanishta Adhikari, we should show show mercy. Rupa Goswami says in Act of Instruction, how to deal with different kinds of devotees. Uh, Madhyama, <coughs> Madhyama Adhikari, we should make friendship. Um, 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 and we should associate with them. And uh, uh, Uttama Adhikari, we should serve them. Yourself there. Um, Panchama Purushartha Prema Nanda Mrita Sindhu Mokshadi Ananda Yara Naheka Bindu Panchama Purushartha. So there are Purusharthas, which are economic development, sense gratification, liberation, <coughs> um, and the um, Dharma, uh, uh, mundane religion. Um, dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. So, Panchama Purushartha. And this is the fifth Purushartha, which is Premananda Mrita Sindhu, which is love of God. Love of God, which is the main. For a devotee who has actually developed Bhava, the pleasure derived from Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha appears like a drop in the presence of a sea. So, this Pancha Purushartha, which is love of Godhead, is like a sea. And this uh, four mundane Purusharthas, they are like a drop. Um, um, compared to the sea. Krishna na mera phala pre, prema sarva shastra kai bhage se hi prema to maai karila udai. You are so fortunate. Ishapuri told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, bhage se hi prema to maai karila udai. You have developed love of Godhead by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Immediately you are so fortunate. Krishna na mera phala. What is the goal of Krishna naam? What is the goal of Hare Krishna Mahamantra? Uh, <coughs> prema. 
that is the goal love of god head sarva shastra ka hai this is the essence of all the scriptures is that you develop love of god head you will get love of god head simply by chanting hari krishna maha mantra and tumara prema kari lao do you are so bhagyavan you have already developed love of god head so all this by making all these statements uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was moving the hearts of these impersonalist and dry philosophers mayavadi sanyasis mahaprabhu was moving their heart by speaking about bhakti ras because they don't experience any pleasure by studying vedanta it's all philosophical it's all intellectual pleasure so they don't experience that bhakti bhav that rasa bhakti rasa which is way 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 beyond uh, um, this intellectual pleasure so just by mahaprabhu glorifying that rasa they all were feeling that devotion and that ecstasy in their heart by the association of lord chaitanya and their hearts was melting as they are hearing krishna prema bhava and the joy tears come from the eyes and the asta satvik vichar um, and uh, the essence of all the scriptures is to know krishna and to love krishna so they are moved by this the conclusion of all revealed scriptures is that one should awaken his dormant love of godhead which are greatly fortunate to have already done so you are greatly fortunate to have already done so <coughs> it is very good my dear child that you have attained the supreme goal of life by developing love of godhead thus you have pleased me very much i am very obliged to you so shri prabhupada very beautifully so ishwar puri says i am you have pleased me very much one time one devotee asked shri prabhupada prabhupada how can we please you and prabhupada said develop love of godhead <coughs> and ishwarpuri says now you have developed love of godhead by developing that you have pleased me very much and i am very much obliged to you so sometime we ask our spiritual master um how can we please you or many time we have this because yasya prasada bhagavad prasada yasya prasada nadati kutopi so how can we please you and here we see ishwarpuri is telling lord chaitanya who is the spiritual master of lord chaitanya i am very pleased with you but what did you do to sir me you have developed krishna prema i just gave you maha mantra you just chanted maha mantra you followed my instruction by follow my instruction you develop krishna prema aha this is what i wanted this is my purpose this is my um, responsibility one should not become a guru if one cannot give love of god head and now i have taken the responsibility and you attained it aha this is the purpose um so now i am very much obliged to you that you have developed love of god head i am very much obliged to you for following my instructions very sincerely and because you followed very sincerely you <coughs> you attain krishna prema so i am grateful to you a guru is telling to his disciple and prabhupa said very nice prabhupa says therefore if by the grace of lord chaitanya spiritual master a disciple attains the standard of pure devotional service the spiritual master is very happy so this is the secret uh, that spiritual master is very happy if by the grace of guru and gauranga you come to the standard of pure devotional service the spiritual master is not actually happy if the disciple brings him money uh we cannot buy a spiritual master with our money he is not happy when he sees lot of money is coming in but when he sees that a disciple is following the regulated principles and advancing in spiritual life he is very glad and feels obliged to such an advanced disciple and that pleases guru of course we use our money and we use everything in serving krishna because everything belongs to krishna and that help us to make progress but the goal that spiritual master is looking forward to here it says um, um when the guru sees that the disciple is advancing in spiritual life he is very glad and feels obliged to such an advanced disciple and guru feels obliged to an advanced disciple wow guru becomes proud of his disciple uh, that he has advanced so much um, and that comes by being very sincerely following the instructions of guru by very sincerely chanting the holy names very sincerely serving the vaishnavas trying to <coughs> spread the message of krishna katha krishna consciousness all over wherever you can um, if you spend 24 hours of your day in this way 
uh, serving Krishna and if you advance and develop taste in Krishna, Guru becomes obliged uh, by such an advanced disciple. <coughs> Eta bali eka shloka shikhaila more. Eta bali. After saying this, eka shloka, one verse shikhaila more. One verse Ishwar Puri taught me. Again, Mahaprabhu is telling. Ishwar Puri after that told me one more verse. He, he taught me one more verse. Bhagavatera sar e bale vare vare. And he recited that verse again and again, again and again, and then again and again. That verse. And what is that verse coming from? Bhagavat, Srimad Bhagavatam. And what is the what is the characteristic of it? Bhagavatera Sar A. That this verse is from Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, and this is the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. This is the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. So Ishwar Puri told one verse from Bhagavatam and kept on repeating again and again. Boli vare var. He recited this verse again and again, again and again, again and again. And he told Mahaprabhu, you learn this verse. And he taught me this verse. And what is the verse? This comes from 11th canto, 2nd chapter, verse number 40. Narad Muni is telling to Vasudev, um, Krishna's uh, birth father, Vasudev and Devaki, that Vasudev. <coughs> when a person is advanced and take pleasure in chanting the holy name of the Lord, who is very dear to him, he is agitated and loudly chants the holy name. He laughs, cries, becomes agitated, chants just like a madman, not caring for outsiders. Again, the same essence. The same essence. Um, um, uh, Hasila, Japila, uh, Kandara. Uh, um, uh, this again, Narad Muni tells Vasudev that when a person becomes advanced, when he chants the holy name, he doesn't care for outsiders. He becomes mad. He becomes agitated. He laughs. He cries. He jumps and he dances. And he does all this sattvic vichar. That's the essence. That's the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. Essence of Srimad Bhagavatam is Namera Tattva. is the Tattva of the Holy Name. Gaur Govind Maharaj says Srimad Bhagavatam is a commentary to the Holy Name. Full stop. So that's the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. That's the essence of Bhagavad Gita is to accept Krishna as Supreme Personality of Godhead, abandon all variety of religion and surrender unto him. That's the essence of Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> the Mayavad Sanyas ask why the Lord does not discuss with Vedanta Sutra. <coughs> After hearing Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, okay, I think we will stop here. There are almost... Uh, a good amount of discussion is still remaining in this chapter. It's 8.35 already. Um, 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 now there is a deep discussion between uh, uh, Prakashananda Saraswati and Lord Chaitanya when Prakashananda Saraswati heart was moved and he says, why don't you study Vedanta Sutra? And then he asks, what is the real meaning of Vedanta Sutra? And that discussion, it it may take maybe half an hour, and then we will cover the next chapter also, uh, hopefully, because the next chapter has only fifty verses. So I think Krishna's arrangement we can do both next week. Okay. Uh, uh, anyone has any question? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. So uh, you mentioned uh, Buddha Bhava in uh, some 15 minutes ago. So yes. what is that Buddha Bhava? Because today when while reading uh, Srimad Bhagavatam also that word came, but I couldn't understand the meaning. Yeah, this comes in Bhagavad Gita Mataji where <coughs> 10.8 where Krishna says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhu, everything emanates from me. Uh, Matta Sarvam Iti matva bhajante maam. One who knows that I am the source of everything, he worships me. Buddha bhava samanvita. And he attained the state of bhava. So uh, the essence of Bhagavad Gita is also that by worshipping Krishna, we attain bhava bhakti. Bhava bhakti, pema bhakti is the goal. And that's what Prabhupada says there. Is it all right? Is it clear? Yes, Prabhupada. Okay, thank you.
Uh, anything else? All right. All right. Thank you very much. One chakal patal vishya kripa sindhu be eva chap. Patita nam pava nebhyo. Vaishnava bhyo namo namaha. Ananta koti Vaishnava indha ki jaya shila prabhupad ki jaya. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jaya shila prabhupad ki jaya. Hare Krishna.